Hey, what's up, you guys? The Revere back for another review. Uh, today I'll be reviewing the Warpath figure from the Marvel Legends 2 pack wave. Uh, this guy, I think. Yeah, they consider this as the official variant of the X-Force Warpath, even though this is his regular costume. Uh, this came with a blue Deadpool, and the other one, the X-Force version, came with the red Deadpool. And then, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, I think, got this figure, got released with, among the others from the wave, I think, 2010 or 2009, not sure though, but... Uh, yeah, this is a figure that has become one of those hard-to-find figures here in the Philippines, and I think overseas this is also hard to find. So, yeah, big thanks to my friend. Uh, I got this figure from him earlier today. So, let's get on with the review. Um, <coughs> man, this is one of the best releases from the early incarnation of the Marvel Legends. And under the Hasbro... Banner, um, you can see here his head sculpt, uh, his skin tone is very well done. Um, yeah, very Native American. Uh, you can see the hair there, the sculpt is very well. You can see the wrinkles in his face, that mean mug of his, and you can see the mask has been sculpted, then painted. And you can see the eyes are colored white. You can see the sculpt in his chest actually this is the hulkling body i think it shares the same body with crossbones even though it doesn't have the uh, latches or whatever you call them that came with the hulkling figure but in the chest but with the arms i think you can see it there the lines you can see here a blank area that has been pointed out by my friend advocate you know I was with him earlier talking to him about the figure you see the skin tone very nicely done and this is a separate plastic and you can see there the they have tried to match the skin tone from this one um yeah so the different one of the difference as I of the regular costume to the X-Force is that the sleeve cuts off where the joint is or the bicep swivel in the X-Force it is painted I think up to here and you can see there the skin tone has detail sorry for that Let's zoom in you can see there see the gloves uh, these are more matte compared to the, these are more flat or matte compared to the X-Force ones that are really glossy see there you can see the arm guards have that stitching in them very nicely done see the paint detail you can see some paint wash there black missing with the dark blue the red you see the metallic belt the back ah it's falling down you can see a spot there where you can put his knives see there the lines in his arms very nicely done the line work has been done very well on this guy you can see the golden X this is a metallic belt and you can move it around just like the newer Marvel Legends continues the shading continues here see there the lines very nicely done paint shading this is a very solid figure see the boot the boots very nicely sculpted you can see the threads and peg holes you see the straps and the buckles yeah very nicely done figure um let's take a look at his knives it comes with two of these see there it has its sculpt like a real knife and has some clean line work to determine the black parts see there shiny silver see there very nicely done the handle is sculpted very well and it stays in his hands even though it has the crossbone hands that have trigger fingers you can see there 
and in the other hand you can see it also there it has a trigger finger so yeah um, very good sculpt and the paint shading is of high quality um, this is one of the precursors to the more modern Marvel Legends from Hasbro because the paint shading is there the paint detail and the skin tone is not that pale actually it fits the character well very good choice for the paint for the skin color so let's talk about the articulation his head can move up not that much because of the hair down this much left and right and it can jiggle and it has that head shifting motion arms can go out forward and back bicep swivel single jointed elbows forearm rotation he can his ab crunch you can make him go down this much and up this much see the blank space there that they didn't do but I'm fine with that um, waist swivel the belt doesn't hinder it um, he is on those ball jointed thighs that need to twist and to make them go out and forward and back thigh swivel double jointed knees um, no calf rotation he does have a bit of a pivot he, he move the angles can move down move up and toe articulation very nicely done a very articulated figure even though he is big and let's measure him up he stands at around seven and a half inches tall you see here he is over seven and a half inches kind of big this is a big figure uh, I think this mold has been used for the wrecking crew figures but the legs are different um here he is with the mo a more modern Marvel Legends and a standard sized one uh, the bucket cap mold that the Wolverine Legends Cyclops used see there very tall figure yeah so this guy is uh, cost me like a lot but thanks to my friend he gave me a discount and he is worth it of the price because he's really hard to find right now and he features more articulation than the other big figures from Hasbro and we haven't seen figures this big from Hasbro that are not build a figures back then so yeah there's my review um for the grades paint shading definitely 10 everything in it is I, th I like it um sculpt I give it a 10 articulation for its size I'm gonna give it a 10 and playability 10 so yeah he gets a perfect grade from me I like this figure a lot so there you go guys um watch out for the, my other reviews and I'll try to catch you later peace